not that I can literally see you, but I know you can see me, and I'm happy to share a ride that we did uh, a couple days ago, riding from the East Coast, Titusville, all the way to Central Florida. And the most interesting part of this ride, it is part of the Coast to Coast Connector, a route where you can ride from the East Coast, from the Cape Canaveral area, crossing the whole state of Florida, all the way to St. Petersburg. And the most interesting part of this route, it is all done on bike trails and bike lanes. Now what the state of Florida has been doing since 2014 is to close these gaps in between cities and, and towns that have these bike lanes and bike trails and closing down these gaps, making one big, huge bike trail. It's not totally complete, but the east side is almost 100% complete. So I'm curious to see how the east side of the coast to coast looks like. So riding from Titusville all the way here to Winter Garden around 76 miles. And I even shared this with some neighbors and they agreed to do this ride. So let me show you on the map really quick how the coast to coast route looks like. So this is the route for the coast to coast. If you want to start on the east side and then cross the state and it looks like the east side um, is pretty much complete. Uh, where it needs more work is the west side and this is the route I did on Strava uh, that's a ride that we did starting on Titusville and then uh, going north and west all the way to Deltona and then south uh, to Orlando all the way to Winter Garden. So yeah pretty neat experience so let's check out this ride. All right so we're gonna start a ride well we're gonna go to our ride right where we are to Titusville we got Mark, Randy, Tim. Guys, ready? Good morning. Everybody has coffee. Is it coffee? <coughs> I have actually. It's a cafe au lait. Ooh, mm -hmm. that's fancy. All right. <laughs> All set, Mark? All set. You guys ready? Ready. Ready, go. Our adventure, coast to coast. First part of the coast to coast connector. Bye, Paula, thank you. You're welcome. See you later. Enjoy the ride. Park and rode from there very beautiful start so we had over a bridge with the sunrise uh, it was a little bit windy and a little bit confusing on the bike lanes uh, in Titusville but if you have the route on your GPS your Garmin you're good to go hey Mark yes sir when did you start cycling uh, when I was 50 years old 23 years ago Wow you just revealed your age <laughs> <laughs> And why? Why did you start cycling? Because I have bad knees and it's the only thing I could do to get myself off the couch. All right. I can't do anything that requires jumping or lateral movement. So this is perfect for me. And I like being, I like being outside and I like traveling. Cycling does everything like that. Clear. Thirty miles into the ride, it's really beautiful. We go through a preserve that has forests, swampy area, really nice, really nice view, and quite a few cyclists riding in that area because you have 
some trailheads and I believe people uh, in the surrounding towns go there to ride their bikes. It's not crowded, but it's, it's really nice to see some other people riding there. And on these trailheads, there are some restrooms in case you need to do a restroom break. The ride is totally flat. I had a few problems with my Garmin. Uh, it, the GPS signal did not work. It kept rerouting me. I don't know if I did something wrong while creating the route, but it didn't work at all. But I wasn't so worried because I could, it's just a bike trail and it's just going straight. Although there was a point right before Osteen where simply the trail ended and we had to go around, uh, take the road. And after two, three miles, we found the trail again. So we just passed Maytown and I didn't even notice that we went through the reserve. It's all looked the same, really beautiful, totally flat. So we could do a good rhythm. Um, and so now we're six miles from Osteen and then Deltona. So we did around 35 miles till now. So it's been a, a really nice ride, a quick stop at the restroom. There's like some trailheads on the way. <laughs> okay, so should we go straight? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> it's obviously where the trail is supposed to go. Yeah, I think this is the part where. <laughs> so this is the part where there was no. I was looking at, on Google, and there was. So I think we're gonna have to get the road. So we're gonna make the left. a McDonald's that means you're back to civilization yeah really gas station's fine uh, we went under So the ride, I think it's really nice, um, really beautiful places. I just wish that this part was, gets a little tricky and it's not clear where the trail goes or where the, I don't know what you guys think. Uh, this is going to definitely be the only downside of the whole thing, I think, is getting yeah. from one side to the other. I think your wife should have been over here with the band and brother at the table. <laughs> Had some enchiladas and refried beans. Oh, oh, we can we can arrange that next time, huh? Do you think there's a road that like or another route that we could do to cross this area, the city area? Yeah. No, it has to be through. This isn't bad. Once you've gone through it once, it's yeah. just it's just that first time through you think you're on the wrong road. Yeah. Or you're not positive you're on the right road. It's the better. Road. Yeah. Yeah. Great riding with you. Take care. Oh, 
All right, guys. Yeah, it was real good. Good ride. So yeah, it was an awesome ride. I had lots of fun. I love doing these types of rides, riding from one town to another, discovering places. It's, it's all part of the adventure. Although when we got close to Deltona, a more urban area, the bike lanes became a little bit confusing. It wasn't clear uh, which route we had to go. The GPS did not help at all. There were some bike lanes that were actually sidewalks, but still it, it was a lot of fun and I will definitely do this ride again. So it was great riding with these guys and actually we're planning another ride, but now riding uh, in the Disney World area. And Mark, he's a Disney expert, so he knows all the tips about the parks, inside the parks and outside, where to ride, some interesting places that we're gonna see. So he's gonna take us on a tour. So if you're interested in seeing that, keep tuned. And don't forget to leave on the comments, what did you think about this ride, about the Coast to Coast Connector? So hope to see you guys soon, till our next ride experience.